During the rainy season, motorists plying Uselu Lagos Road are faced with difficulty owing to the large piles of sand that have taken over the drainage system and the service lanes by Daiken Street Junction. The situation is the same at a popular spot opposite S&T Army Barracks in Isio, which is notorious for forcing vehicle owners to meander their way out of the flood that gathers there whenever it rains. Motorists narrated the untold hardship they experienced to include vehicles sinking in sand, constant traffic jams, especially when vehicles break down as a result of the situation and having to drive on the pedestrian walkways which poses a risk to pedestrians. Before I say say more they follow ground, they're supposed to have maple beaches, they may pass this guy's on. Because here they spoil our motto every day, every day. Now rain never start to follow the fan are difficult to pass here. What about if rain don't start for? This is so no good, they you know, disturb everybody for this Joshua. They made the ferry pier roof here before they say me that they pass here. Everybody know if you pass here once now, you know good. I like the way the governor they do as he say me they pass here. I congratulate him for the work. But this sand it they spoil motor well well and it they disturb. You know they let the gutter don't feed up, you know they let people feed the pass well. So if he come back and we go appreciate him well well. Some residents in the area and passengers of some commercial vehicles are of the opinion that the drains should be deseated and the sand evacuated in order to make driving on the road easier, especially now that motorists have been compelled to make use of the service lanes to pick and drop off passengers. The sand is disturbing a lot of things. At times when the rain falls, no motor can pass this place because of the sand. As you can see, they are managing one lane now. The sand has taken the other side of the road. So if the government can come, and take away the sand first. Then so it to be special for two cars to pass. If you for no roads, Sasa for everywhere. Pass Sasa. Eh, there's some that want to use the center. Better they may they come past the Sasa so that I go let the motor they pass. I beg, now beg with the beg. In a previous interview, a Doe State Commissioner for Environment and Sustainability, Reginald Okun, said measures are being put in place to ensure that the sand is evacuated soon. We've actually. Mentioned, um, put down in paper all the areas that needs to sit in. We would want to do it properly. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but before the rain starts, we would have done all. Motorists are apprehensive of the predicaments they would face if prompt measures are not taken before the rainy season begins, just as they wonder how long it would take the State Ministry of Environment and Sustainability to remove the sand as promised by the Commission. Ameze Obaisiagbun, reporting.